Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss the differences between stored procedure and function in XPS. So now let's let's start. Off. So what are the differences available in XPS? So my first difference is procedure may or may not return a value, but function must return a value. So now we can see we can have a example. So here I am using my test DB database. In this database, I am using hmm, my. I am going to create my procedure. So first difference is may or may not return a value, but function must return a value. So this is my procedure. I am going to achieve. I want to execute this procedure. Hmm, I want to get detail of this applies. Okay, like that we can. So now the function. So it is using returns function. So we can see here return. So it will return this value. So procedure must return a value whereas in procedure it can return or may not return. So first create this procedure. So F5 plus F5. My command term data plus two. Now I am going to execute this procedure. Press F5 button. Now this is given the output. Okay. First I want to show you my table data. So this is my table. I will have table name is TBM EMP employee. So this is the table data I have in my SQL database table. Okay. The second difference is you can see we call a procedure by using execute or exec command and call a function by using select command. So we can see here and here we are calling we are calling a function we are using select but if you want to call a procedure okay so you can use directly exec so I want to Execute this procedure. Exec or you can have full execute. Okay. As you can see, you can we will get our output or that then we can use. Suppose suppose my this is my show procedure. Now this is my show procedure, and uh, get it is okay. Get. So I am going to create this procedure. Okay. 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 I am going to create this procedure on computer circuit. Now I want to execute. This procedure. So we can see here. We can execute with the help of execute or exec command or directly you will select all the procedure name and press F5. Then you will get your output. So we can all our stored procedure in three ways by using exec keyword or by using full execute keyword and directly procedure name. Okay, so the third difference is procedure can have both para parameter input and output parameter, whereas function can have only input parameter. So now we can see the help of uh, output input and output are also So I have created one procedure here. We can see here we integrated it with output term. I have a okay. So this is my procedure input and output parameter. So this is my SP addition procedure name and I am doing so this is this is input parameter. Okay, we will get the value from the user and this is my output parameter. Okay, this is my output parameter. So, 
Okay, now we can see here. Now I am going to execute this. And execute it successfully. Now, so when I will get, so I want to execute execute this procedure. So what is a procedure or function? That is an expect expect parameters accurate value a. This was not subtract, so it is expect value of a, and we also. So after that, so what it will return? It will return the value of sum. So this is our output parameter sum, and this is input parameter. So now I am going to execute this parameter. So we can see our output. That is this. Okay. Now another difference is available. Procedure cannot have and we call from function, but function can be called from procedure. So now we can see here by default I have created one procedure here. This procedure. So I am going to execute this procedure. So it will create a entire database. So we can see on computer successfully get total. So what is using this? What is this count? Count is much more it is function. So we are calling count function and now I am going to execute. So we can see it is using count function. So procedure can do it function but what function can be cannot be called from sorry procedure can not be called from function okay but function can be called from procedure so what is this is our procedure we can call function but by using function we cannot call procedure okay so my another that means add fifth difference is procedure allowed select as well as dms operations so now we can see here <coughs> so DML update. Suppose I want to update my employee data. Okay. First, I want to show you my data. Okay. My table data. Can see here. My table data is 101 Lucy IT in Hyderabad. Now I want to update this data by using procedure. So we can see the update employee. So it was there. Update. SP update DMP. This is my parameter. Okay. This is my parameter. So after that, by passing my parameter here, I want to update the detail of this employee that can have that have 101 PID and I want to update that well location is Lamna. So we can see here my 101 value. Lucy name, they, this location is Hyderabad. So I want to change the location Hyderabad to Lama. So first create this procedure. Now I am going to execute. Okay. So I want to attack it. So I execute it successfully. Now I am going to check my database table. Okay. So we can see here. My database table is updated. You can see who is learning. Okay, like that. You can do my another difference is my last difference can create procedure with the head with output with and without parameters, but can create function with parameters only. So, if you want to create the procedure, so we can create with and without parameters, but if you creating a function then that means we cannot create we can create function with the parameters only without uh, with with parameters only without parameters we cannot create procedure so function okay so my next difference is for exception handling we can use try catch blocks in function in function, but our function doesn't allow try catch block. Okay, so these all are the important differences between 
restore procedure and function. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. My Facebook page is www.facebook.com slash and you can meet us on my Twitter at my Twitter is twitter.com slash tfstkbutton. Thank you guys. I hope it you enjoyed this video. Thank you.